want to do our bit to help save the planet, but where on earth do we all start? A good place is with the Royal Society of Chemistry, who are asking us all to take charge of climate change with batteries. Yes, this year we are asking you to get involved with the global battery experiment, during which you will make your very own battery using just simple household equipment like coins. Now, we use batteries all the time, but how much do we know about them? Sure, we know that they're used in laptop computers and tablets. They are used in torches. They are even used in mobile phones. Just a sec. Hello? Yes, that is me. They are used in tools, toys, cars. And they are used in the remote controls for televisions. But did you know they can help save the planet? In order to reach net zero carbon dioxide emissions, we need to stop using fossil fuels in our homes and cars, and instead switch to zero carbon and renewable power, like solar and wind. So yes, at the moment we have disposable alkaline batteries, which we use in our torches and toys, and rechargeable lithium ion batteries, which we use in our tools, tablets, and electric cars. But these batteries are not perfect. And the more we come to need batteries, the better they will need to get. And so we need scientists. Scientists like Dr. Zubera Iqbal, who is looking at the best way to recycle lithium ion batteries from electric cars. And Dr. Jenny Baker, who is looking at a whole new type of battery, which uses sodium instead of lithium. And Hayden Francis, who is a PhD researcher at the Youssef Hamid Department of Chemistry at the University of Cambridge in the UK. Hayden is part of the first generation of his family to go to university and the first of his family to go into scientific research. What drew him towards batteries? We all need to get serious about where our energy is coming from. So that means moving away from fossil fuels and moving towards renewables and zero carbon power. A key part of making that transition will be having better batteries. A good battery needs to perform really well. It needs to be low cost. Ideally, it would be small, it would be lightweight, it would be as safe as possible. But also, we need to think about where those materials are coming from in the first place. Lots of them are made from materials that are natural resources that are not actually renewable themselves. So we need to be careful about making sure those materials are sourced sustainably and they're recycled at the end of life. And it's because batteries are going to be such an important part of any sustainable future that made me so keen to be involved in this critical part of solving the climate crisis. And the work I'm part of and the work of battery chemists all over the world is a key part of that change. And this is something we can all be part of, starting with making your own coin-based battery as part of this global experiment in which you'll investigate what makes up a battery and how they work. We're also asking everyone to make a climate-based commitment. There's no one solution to these problems that our planet is facing, and there are things we can all do, big and small, to make a difference. Fran, are you ready to commit? I am, and I hope you are too. Uh, but the next part is actually doing the battery experiment, so we're going to leave you to get on with that. And let's take charge. 